Meow meow meow! It's the Cat Mario Show! Meow! We're back! And in this episode, we'll give you information on lots of different games. We'll make video game experts out of you yet. Let's begin! It's, it's Super, Super Quiz, quiz Time! time. <laughs> oh, Captain Toad, how lovely to see you again! Welcome back! Today's quiz is all about Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, which stars the one and only Captain Toad. Here you go! In this exciting game, Captain Toad goes on an adventure through all sorts of stages. With the aim of collecting a valuable power star at the goal. Captain Toad can't jump because his backpack is too heavy. So all enemies pose a threat to the little guy. He'll need to use his wits to stay safe. Here's the question. How does Captain Toad defeat Shy Guys? One, runs into them. Two, shines his light on them. Three, throws turnips at them. Four, shoves them in his backpack. The answer is... Three throws turnips at them. You can pull the leaves to get them out of the ground. Aim, then throw. Good shot! As we said, Captain Toad can't jump, but he can do lots of other useful actions, like pulling things out of the ground or breaking blocks with a super pickaxe. Impressive stuff! Captain Toad shows us the many sides of his complex character during this adventure. So here's the question. What happens when you leave him alone for a while? One, he falls asleep. Two, he sings a little song. Three, he cries for help. Four, he plays a video game. He's fallen asleep. That's right. He has a little nap if you leave him on his own too long. And finally today, can you find pixel art Luigi in this picture? Can you find him? Keep looking. We'll zoom in to make it easier. Aw, Toadette has fallen asleep too. What sleepy little folk Toads are. Have you found him? He's here. Did you find Luigi? That was really tricky, wasn't it? Well, on we go. Become, Become a, a Mario, Mario expert. expert. In this part of the show, we take a look at Mario games and help you all to become Mario experts. Today we'll be sharing some more Mario Kart 8 shortcuts. First off is Thwomp Ruins. See the grass right after you start? Try drifting to the left and using a mushroom. There's a jump here. The trick is to look out for the Thwomp Ruin buried in the ground. The next course is Twisted Mansion. It's near the start of the course, right after the wavy floor. What happens if we use a mushroom here? You cut right through the gap in the bookshelves. If you keep drifting as you go, you can avoid crashing into the walls. Last but not least is Shy Guy Falls. The shortcut is toward the end of the course, after going down the waterfall and through the cave. Aim to go between these two rocks that are shaped like horns. And off you go! A jump boost! And another! Make sure you watch out for the sharp corner right after the jump. 
That's all of our shortcuts for today. If you can remember them, you'll be faster than ever. On to the next section. Let's go! Super, Super Smash, Smash Brothers, Brothers Secrets. Secrets! Today we'll be looking at Rosalina and Luma. Those two are always together. That's right. Even when they're attacking or jumping, they'll stick together. When Rosalina gets knocked away, Luma is still there to counterattack. They really are always there for each other. And that's why they're able to do their standard special move, the Luma Shot. By sending Luma away from Rosalina, the two of them are able to attack independently. It's like there's another Rosalina fighting there. Even when away from Rosalina, Luma can use the special move, Star Bits. It can be very effective as a follow-up to Luma Shot. It might look odd seeing stars coming out of a star, but it's really effective. And I love this move, it looks like magic! This is the down special move, Gravitational Pull. It can pull items toward you. And block attacks when opponents throw things at you. You can even use their attacks against them. It's a pretty useful move. And when Luma gets knocked away... Don't worry, kids. If that happens, Luma will keep coming back. Looking cooler than ever before, too! And last but not least, the final smash! This giant power star launches little stars in all directions. And you can keep moving about even while it's going. Using this move, you can get your enemies while they're distracted. We hope you've got a better idea of how to use Rosalina and Luma now. That's all of the Super Smash Brothers secrets for today. Speed, Speed run, run fun. fun! In this section, we'll take a look at some amazing gameplay from game developers. Today's guest is Mr. Motokura, the director of Super Mario 3D World. Let's see what Mr. Motokura has to show us today. Let's, Let's begin, begin now! now. Today, Mr. Motokura will be performing a speed run for World 6-1. This is a course where you're supposed to go through the clear pipes, but you don't necessarily have to. When you go up a slope, you should try to jump whenever possible instead of just walking. Do it with good rhythm and precision. You can catch a breath. Don't the characters look cute when they move through the clear pipes? Then, once you're out of this clear pipe, you can take a shortcut by climbing the wall. <laughs> then slide downhill. And take enemies down while sliding. You can also get past this clear pipe without going inside. Then use the boomerang flower. Use it quickly to gather all the keys and unlock the warp box. Finally, head for the goal pole with a huge jump. And that completes the course with 331 left on the timer. Amazing! Thanks for showing us your amazing skills, Mr. Motokura. What a wonderful performance. If anyone can beat his record, I'd love to see it posted on Meverse. We look forward to seeing you guys try this challenge. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for coming back to see us. Bye! Scratch that. Let's end this episode with a challenge. Yes, let's look for Pixel Art Luigi. Where is he? Can you see him? He's right here. And that really is all for today. Bye! Bye.